Hi, this is Ashley Mott from BeautiesFluid.com, and this evening I actually wanted to unbox the Teen Vogue Birch Box, which is the March 2012 Birch Box for those of us lucky enough to get the Teen Vogue Box instead of the usually branded Birch Box. So let's just see the um, goodies that were awaiting us. Um, the actual um, Birch Box box was wrapped up in this cute little cover that has the official Beauty Picks Team Vogue stuff on it. Um, there's something about slip cases that I always think is kind of cute, but uh, basically right there is where the cuteness stops. Um, I actually usually unbox these at home before I, I do a video of them just to kind of have an idea of what to expect, even though I usually end up having to re-look at everything anyway. So I already know what's in here. And, it's so soft. So anyway, let's take a look at the products that are laying in the bottom here. You can see a, a nail polish, a sugar, another little tube, and a little perfume sample. So we're going to pull those out individually and I'll show you what each one is. Now this is the Essie Multi-Dimension Top Coat. And this is a cut above, I guess it's the color, or number 954. It's a, a Lux Effect polish there. Okay, and there my camera just auto-focused on the container. And let me just turn it this way and let it do it again. As you can see here, the, the glitter in here isn't really like glitter glitter. Um, the, the shine effects in here seem to be almost like miniature sequins, which actually could make this very interesting. Um, let me just hold that up there. Yeah, as you can see, it's actually on the um, applicator like that too. So I'm kind of interested to try this more from a curiosity standpoint than an actual desire to wear the product because um, I'm 26. The uh, the glitter fascination um, minus is an accent piece like I have here and that's even not glitter so much as iridescent but I'm not really into glitter as like a, a look per se. It's a little too juvenile for me but I'm just curious if these larger flecks of the uh, sparkle glitter kind of look better than regular glitter because um Julep Maven in their box for February because it's March now their February box had a gold glitter nail polish in it and they just don't go on very good uh, the their pondies the clear top coat like material in them just kind of slides off to the edges and it takes the glitter with it so you end up with a very uneven kind of silly looking application so I'm going to be interested to try this just to see if these larger flecks work the same way or not but beyond that that's probably something that one of my uh, nieces will be enjoying at some point in time now this is actually <laughs> something um this came is a twist band hair tie, and I got one of these that was a little bit smaller in the first birch box that I got. Okay, and silly me, I thought it was like, I guess the wrapper uh, for something else, like, you know, they tie off the inside that has the, the nail polish and maybe one of these other containers were tied off together inside a separate little piece of paper, wrapping paper, and tied off with this pink ribbon. And so I thought that the, uh, the the tie band in the last birch box that I got one in, which I believe was November's, I thought it was something like that. So I undid the knot and there was no getting that back together after I did that. And I even had my husband try it because he's used to tying knots and neckties, but he couldn't do it either, so basically I ruined my last tie band, so I'm kind of interested to try that out just to see how it works as a ponytail. I'm not really into ponytails too much because I used to be heavy, and I was always self-conscious about doing something that's going to draw attention to the fact that I have a really round face, so 
I just never got into them after I kind of got past that, so. It'll be fun to see if that works out, though. Even if I don't wear it all the time. So the second, or the third thing, was a Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Treatment. And this is a... 0.08 ounce container, SPF 15, guys. And let me just pull the top off of this. And we will look at that. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is one of those combo products. Nope, just a lip product. Pardon moi. I thought maybe this is one of those combo uh, blushes and lip products like Benefit does, but it's not. Okay, there we go. Kind of a nice color. It actually seems to have the same hint of color to it that like the uh, Burt's Bees shimmering lip thing that comes in the brown tube with the uh, little lip kit. It has the same tone as that and uh, I have on gloss right now so you probably can't see this if you wanted to but yeah, it seemed to blend right into that gloss. So, but um, it feels interesting because that gloss was very sticky, and this really made it kind of mellow, smooth. So, yeah, I'll be interested to try that as a standalone because it would be nice to have a, a lip color that isn't a dedicated lipstick, but isn't a, a glossy gloss or a colored chapstick. So, I think I'll be adding that to my um purse kit. Otherwise, there is the Caratis, or Caristace, I'm probably really botching that. It's from L'Oreal Paris, the Caristace Elixir Cultium, something like that. It's a beautifying hair oil. Let's see over here, Caristace Elixir Ultim. Add this nourishing oil to your hair regimen to hydrate, smooth, and sleekify. Sleekify. You heard that right. That's not just me talking with my garbled underbite. That's an actual word printed on the, the butch box card. Sleekify. Your strands. A full size of this is $54. It seems kind of extravagant for L'Oreal Paris. Um, basically, uh, got a little applicator tube here. I tried to squeeze some of this out earlier and it wasn't forthcoming, so I'll work on that later. There's probably not enough in there to waste any anyway if you want to really try it out. So anyway, moving on. The perfume sample this month was a petite chaudry. Uh, can't really block enough light. Oh there we go right there. Yeah, Petite Cherie by Nuc Grutol Paris. And this was basically just a standard size tube. It's not in there right now but the standard size sample tube, nothing to write home about. And quite frankly, when I put, I sampled some on my the top of my hand because they already had on Couture Couture from Juicy Couture, which is kind of a powerful scent. So I put some of that on, and I got like a whiff of like almost something like banana e, and uh, the Couture Couture quickly overwhelmed it. Um, the card says that it has like a mango type essence to it, but it's just very ordinary. And it's probably right because it's something that a Teen Vogue editor would think a teenager would like. So Now the other interesting thing was is that there was a $10 off of $75 Mod Cloth coupon in here. And Mod Cloth has the cutest stuff. But I would probably not be ordering anything before this expires on the 15th of April because I've got several other things cooking, like a potential home purchase, so watching the finances. But if that was in your birch box, I encourage you to use it because they just got some of the most darling dresses and tops you're ever going to see. But basically, I was pretty, as I said at the beginning, disappointed in this birch box. I have had several killer ones in a row that had several things in there that I couldn't like try. I usually had something in there that I really liked and the other things were just interesting or 
kind of things that I like that I wouldn't purchase um, independently. So this one though, uh, the Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Treatment is probably going to be a keeper, whether I would actually ever get any of that outside of the birch box remains to be seen. But that's cool. Otherwise, I'm not going to be buying this no matter how good it is because there's too many other similar products. Not into glitter, really, for my nails, so that's a no-go. Wasn't impressed with the perfume. So, basically... One out of five things, oh, excuse me, the tie. Interested in that, again, not something that I'll go out of my way to have added to a collection were it an option for me. So basically out of all of those products right there, this is the only one that I'm really ecstatic about and that's kind of even warm. I didn't select to get the Team Vogue box. I actually saw the email late um, when it said you can opt in to get the Team Vogue box. I was like, oh, sorry I missed that, and except I was lying because I kind of figured if it's going to be a Team Vogue box, it's going to have cutesy stuff in it that isn't really going to be appropriate for me or that I'll be interested in, and I was right. But I knew that I was getting it the other day because I got an email saying, your Team Vogue birch box is on its way, and I was like, Goody, I didn't pick it and then you randomly selected me anyway. It's probably because I'm 26. All of us who are under the age of 30 or whatever probably were treated to this wonderful opportunity of products. Uh, the wonderful opportunity of receiving products that were designed for people totally not on age. And I mean, I think most of the other people who I see doing birth box unboxes on YouTube are probably closer to my age than Teen Vogue subscribers, so maybe next time I can partner with the uh, mothership and get a, a Vogue branded box or an L branded box, or maybe they have it, I just wasn't a member of the group yet back then, but basically the cutest thing about this box was the, the slip cover, and if I could have just left it at that, I'm not seeing the disappointment lurking inside, that would have been dandy. But anyway, I will give these products the old college try, not me, and see how they are and review them either here on the YouTube channel or on the blog at beautiesfluid.com and let you know how they turned out. Maybe I'll end up being completely blown away by the tie van. Who can say? So until next time, this has been Ashley Mott at beautiesfluid.com with the March Teen Vogue Birchbox unboxing. Bye.